Ah, what's good, YouTube? Y'all all know it's your boy. Them boy crazy. Y'all all know it's your boy Royal to wrap up with this motherfucker, man. I already know what's going on, man. I know it's your boy Canfield. Anytime you see that face, you know what's going on. Oh, I'm thinking about another reaction. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Story yeah, time, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Story time. We forgot to get out one last week. I ain't gonna lie. We forgot all about that jump. Oh, oh. Uh, I know on the last story time, we had like two, three comments that wanted to see, uh, like how we met and uh, when we met and all that, you know what I'm saying? We did tell you how we first started YouTube and, and all that. And then as we continue to drop these story times, just let them know what y'all want to know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What's the crazy thing that ever happened to us? Uh, first little piece of little booty we got, you know what I'm saying? Little pussy pussy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know y'all want to know that, you know what I'm saying? Stuff yeah, like well. that. But we start off on how we met. And here we go. So... <clears throat> we made it high school, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. But when you get cool, what what, you, what, what grade it was? We just got cool, like hanging out. Like and, super, super cool, or like just nah, just like cool type shit. Like eleven, like eleven grade. grade yeah. yeah. So basically, what happened was I know you. We made it ten grade though. Yeah, I know y'all ain't gonna really just know these schools, but we gonna say all the schools and stuff like this. So, uh, I grew up in uh, basically in Raleigh. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in Raleigh, you know what I'm saying? So, and he grew up in North Memphis. I grew up in Raleigh, he grew up in North Memphis. But Memphis ain't big, you know what I'm saying? Memphis, Memphis small, so Raleigh and North Memphis like right beside each other, you know what I'm saying? So, I had, I got family in North Memphis, I got family in South Memphis, I got family all over Memphis. I'm just being real. Too. You from Memphis, you, you, got, you got family Family everywhere. all everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So, basically, um... I was going to a school in Raleigh, in Memphis, but it's Raleigh and Memphis. I was going to a school called Raleigh, Egypt. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was going for my middle school years and all this stuff. What you going to feel for the school year? So I, had, I was in North Memphis then. We had moved. We moved to the door. Mm hmm Yeah. So I was going to uh, Raleigh, Egypt middle all my years and stuff like that. I graduated from Raleigh, Egypt middle school, and I still stayed in Raleigh. So. We uh we both started going to Cordova High School and Cordova from Raleigh is like Shit, yeah, about what? Cool 25, like 20, 30 25 minutes. minutes. Yeah, 25, 25 minutes type. So I was staying in Raleigh, but I started going to Cordova because I was finna trying to play basketball for Cordova and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But ended up going to Cordova, you know what I'm saying? I went there my ninth grade, you're cool, did that in the third year, went by. It was cool, it was chill, you know what I'm saying? Not too crazy. Then 10th grade, that's when we had our first class, nigga. Yo, uh, I think, what was it? What was it? Algebra or some shit? Yeah, yeah we, had our first, like we had our first class in 10th grade. Cause we both went to Cordova our, our whole four years. But uh, we ain't really just running to each other into 10th grade because we had ended up having the same class and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So 10th grade, you know what I'm saying? We had the same class, you know what I'm saying? We, we knew of each other, but we weren't, we weren't just cool. So that year go back. Then 11th grade, this we had Mr. Rogers, you like that. We had Mr. Rogers. Yeah, I think this one like, like we really, really got cool. When yeah. We had, uh, when we had that mind, Mr. Rogers, that mind was, that one was crazy. I ain't yeah, lie. we had a, we had a teacher named Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Boy, I'm bro. They this, might up. Now this why he was so <laughs> crazy. I'm gonna tell you how like we was cool, but he got like super cool. We was we was cool and all that, you know what I'm saying? Outside of school and everything, but he got super cool when like. One time he was uh in his class and stuff like that, and he had snacks and stuff here. You know what I'm saying? Get to the, he'd give out to the like you yeah, can buy. Then he, can uh, buy. Uh, he had like a little concession stand. Yeah, he had like a little concession stand with snacks and stuff inside his classroom and stuff like that. But everybody in the class knew where he put the snacks in. See what I'm saying? So, boom, we go to school one day and we all come into the class, Mr. Rogers' class and stuff like that. Mind you, it's me, him, and like. 12, 13 other students, plenty, folks. plenty of folks. And all of we knew everybody in the classroom, everybody. You know what I'm saying? So we had like a group of folks that we were just really cool with. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just say me, Cam, and then we're gonna say Chris, Chris and uh Chris, Caleb, and Josh. Yeah. So it's me, Cam, Chris, Caleb, and Josh. So Chris, Caleb, and Josh, they younger than us. They're a little younger than us. They like a year or two younger than us, but we all take the same class, you know what I'm saying? It was uh what what's the class was? Man, it was yeah. Like workshop or something like. What? It was something like workshop. It was really like it was called AutoCAD or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like basically, we just build yeah. stuff like little mini houses and stuff like that. Basically like engineering type shit. Yeah, so so Chris, Caleb, and Josh, like I said, they're a little younger than us. 
So we in there like he wanted all us to like build little houses with like these little pieces of wood. So me, Cam, we build nine house and all this stuff. We get our stuff together. Chris, Caleb, and Josh, they build their house. But he leave out. He like, I'm gonna be back, y'all. I gotta go do something. I'm gonna be back. But yeah, we knew where the snatching stuff was. So they was locked up in like he was put in one of his closets. So when he leave out, they playing around the so like them folks said, we finna go in there and grab some stuff. So they so Chris, Caleb, and Josh, man, they're a little young us, but we all in the same <laughs> class. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's almost like elite class. Mm -hmm. So they go inside the they go inside the closet. They take the sneaker bars, the hot shit, all the good joints, all the good right, stuff. All the good stuff. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna just keep one hundred. I just went in there. I'm like, so we just went there to see what he had. Mm -hmm. Man, he had about some Fritos. Me and him ain't finna eat no no plain Fritos. Though. Not finna eat no Fritos. You see what I'm saying? So we go back in there. We sit down and stuff like that. We started started back building that stuff. So. Chris Caleb and Josh, they they done stole all of them. They eat some of them, they ate some of them, they put some of them up. Eating good. So he come back. <laughs> so he was like, uh, he going, he sit down, he said everything normal. Then he go in his closet. When he go in his closet, he seen them with some free dogs. <laughs> he look at me and Cam, because we like I said. Yep. We, and then I ain't gonna lie, they took some of them drugs too. Oh, yeah. Because he only had a couple of them. <laughs> What well, everybody was talking about two of them? Man, yeah, then that man came out with, with the bags in his hand like, like this. Like, <laughs> I'm on some, like, where the stuff is. Basically, I'm like, hey, we so don't know. We like, we don't know, because we even snitch on the older yeah. guy. This, this my young so we even snitch on our young and tell him what happened. So he automatically put the blame on us. Because anytime something happened in the class, he put the blame on me and Cam, because I guess we like the old yeah, stuff like that. So we like, man, we, we, you, y'all tripping. We ain't we, we take that with them. We tell him, we like, you yeah. tripping, we ain't take that. So he ended up calling Cam, <laughs> mama. Then he ended up calling my mama. Then he was like, you know, can be hanging around with this, with this man, with the boy named Rob, mm -hmm. and Rob be hanging around with the boy named Cam, yeah. and then the third. So, Nigel, we ain't take nothing. We ain't take nothing. nothing. So that's when Cam ended up him telling me uh, the next day what his what his mom said. And I told my mom said all nah, this stuff. Then we just got way cool yeah, after way that. Cool after then that. we started hanging out outside of school, started hooping, doing this, doing that, and all that. And that's really like how that's we, how it that's how, that's how it all started off. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't got like. Oh, excuse me. Like yeah. super, super, super cool. Like the last two years of, uh, oh, yeah, for sure. of our high school years. Uh, really grade, oh, yeah, we were locked in for yeah. real. And, uh, <laughs> 12th grade. Then I was supposed to hoop. I was hooping for Cordova and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, we was on the time. That, 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 that BS happened. That BS happened and all this stuff. So, but it really, it went. Yeah, it really, it really panned out on, you know what I'm saying, just my taking the same class and all that. Taking the same class and, uh, Cause at first you like we said we ain't we want cool and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and then tenth grade it was like we were cool, but we want to rank each other like that, like that. Like and then eleventh grade when we start taking classes and stuff, then we got like then we cool. we knew people that was cool with us. Yeah, like how like, we both knew Zay and we both knew yeah. Derek and we both yeah. knew you know what I'm saying. Like we knew people. Like we knew some of the same folks. Whether it was like folks that uh, went to school with us or like folks we knew outside of school. Like we we knew some of the same folks. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that. It was crazy because uh, his mama best friend was best friends with like my auntie. Yeah, that's so wicked. The whole time, me and him was around each other even when we were little, but then mm -hmm. he didn't know it. Didn't know it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was wild. And that's why I said it did go just show you like, how Memphis small, small. Memphis is. You know what I'm saying? Like, Memphis yeah. is so small. You don't like, know some of the same folks. Yeah. That's just what it family. For sure, for sure. And uh, that's why I said we got stories to tell y'all. Like, Y'all guys, what was our, what was the crazy thing that ever happened to us? Like, yeah. it's, it's whatever story y'all want to know, we, we can tell y'all. But like I said, as far as it, us meeting each other, it yeah. wasn't even nothing like too crazy. We just nah, went to the same school, crazy. you know it what I'm saying? school, but like you said, um, like 11, 12, like 12 grade, we were locked in. Mm-hmm. Because you already know, like the Mr. Rogers class, we got a lot of memories from Mr. Rogers class. Like Mr. Rogers, that boy right there was crazy. Like, one right. time, bro, and it's crazy because... I hear me. I wasn't even trying, bro. I was a real talk, bro. So we 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 Mr. Rod class one day. You know what I'm saying? This when we locked in the 12th grade year now. When, when we told y'all about the snacks was 11th grade year. This 12th grade year. Man, we walk in the class. Mind you, I ain't own nothing. I'm chilling. I, I bro, I just got out of art like, I think like two classes before, a class before. I come in. You know what I'm saying? He said like we ain't really got nothing to do. We ain't got nothing to do, bro. It's the end of the year, so you know what I'm saying? Fuck it, does that? So I'm in it, like. I think I, I don't, I think I was, I wasn't even doing that. I think I was just messing with my, uh, like, you know how, like, when you bored, so you just get doing stuff like this. I'm doing this right here on the paper. So, I guess because I had all my little, uh, art, art stuff. Supply, yeah. 
He hit me with the. Why he said? Could you nah, be saying he, this? Like, what are you doing? He was like, come on, come on. Come on like, like, like really did. He ain't even explained it. He better like, say, come on, come on. Come I'm on, like, man, get your ass He was like, go and go outside. Go and get your arse crap. That shit crazy as hell. Bro, they were 40. I ain't gonna lie. He was like, go and go outside and draw. But it was like you said, we had nothing going on. Bro, then he gonna take me outside of the classroom. I look back. I see him the other day like that. That shit crazy, man. I'm like, man, what the, I'm, I'm asking the phone. What the fuck man, I do? Like, well, what I'm gonna be fuck? real. That play was wild, cause he used to always do like do stuff like that, and I ain't, I walked out on do so many times. Like man. the piece of shit. Like that, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I slick over did it. I ain't gonna lie. I slick over did it because I, I I cussed the man out real bad. <laughs> but it wasn't because of the piece of bread. It was principle. Like, all right. First of all, he did something that he wasn't even supposed to do. He let students leave school to go pick the piece up. That's violation right there. You're not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Damn, he took money from students. Yeah, the day before, he was like, what we probably bring, like five, ten dollars? Something like that? Ten. Ten dollars, and he was like, yeah, to ooh. He never told us to come to the classroom to drop the money off before the class. Mm -hmm. So, we didn't get the memo. I'm just being real. Mm -hmm. So, by the time we came to class, I think me, you, and uh, the other dude we used to be real cool with, we was the only one that had the money still, but everybody else had gave the money. I didn't know that. Yeah, me, you, and him. Yeah, so, you know, we finna get up money or whatever, so they gave the money and all that. And I think, uh, I was just like, okay, that's what it was. Because the student that went to go get it, because he, he had, he had. It's, yeah, how it was, was, uh, y'all don't, these not their real names. Yeah. But Josh, Caleb, and Chris, mm -hmm. they didn't have no money. Yeah. But. It, we was in, we was, we was, it was some Mexicans in there that we was really, yeah. real, real cool. cool. They had their money. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And Cam had his money. And I think, I had, I think I only had like five though. Mm -hmm. But we, it was just certain people that didn't have no money. Mm -hmm. You knew, you see what I'm saying? And like you said, the, the Mexicans, they went, they, they the one want, they want to go get yeah. the pizza. So, I'm looking at like, do we pay them? Do we pay him? Like, cause mm -hmm. it's like he was pressing me about the money, like. I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, just give me the money, give me the money. And I'm like, hold on, calm down, like, chill. Like, I'm trying to see, like, what he's going for. Like, I really did need to know what's going on. Like, how many people, like, uh, is everybody going to be able to eat? I know some folks think, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on because I'm just being real. Anything that deals with money, I don't care how much it is. Like, I need to know what's going mm -hmm. on before I just be like, here. So, they came back with the piece of stuff. So, I asked, I'm like, man, what's going on? Ooh, ooh. I'm trying to chop it up with them. And this man, like, just start, like, Talking like crazy, CJ, you don't even know what's going on. And did this, this and it, and you doing it like I'm talking about. Talk so going bro, off, bro. By that time, I just shot off. Like, I ain't gonna need. I'm like, my you, ooh, my you always trying to make seem like nigga dumb. Ooh, I'm, I'm going ham on them, man. Whole time, he just sitting there looking crazy or whatever. And I ain't gonna lie, I shouldn't have did that, but I, I wouldn't think about none of it at the time. Like, then dude, the way he, he is, it's how he come. Itching, yeah, bro. like he do stuff so like. Mine, I'm talking about. Even could. when he said, I didn't care. He was like, yeah, mine. Oh. I could do that so bad, bro. I'm like, man, I don't mean care about no piece of none of that. But we was always saying about the like, snacks, too. Oh, mine, on the snacks, I'm like, like yep, yeah, then that, too. That, too. I'm like, man, you talking about we stealing free, though? We ain't stealing no goddamn bro, no ordinary ass. Who's going to go know? in there and steal? Some regular Frito. Then it's the little bag, I'm saying. It's a little bag. It ain't got no chili cheese on it, no barbecue, right. no uh, seasoning, no. Uh, I'm talking about the, the bro. When that man called my mom, I ain't like my mom was so tired of him because she like, look, don't call my phone no more because mm -hmm. my son don't even eat Fritos and she hung up on you. It is straight like that. Man, that man called my mom. She's on the same thing. Mm -hmm. My mom was like, he what? Bro, he used to call our mom so much, oh, bro. Oh my life. That, that was it. Was it was wicked, but oh my that, life. That, 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 that's just how that was. But then. Also, real 100 stuff, like, shoot, by the time we got out of, well, oh, yeah, what really made us uh, real close, too, was, like, when we was finna graduate, and everybody was trying to figure out what they were gonna do, and all yeah. uh, that stuff, and it was pretty much, like, we was the only ones that was, like, like so we yeah, well, we this. said we were the yeah. whole group, of, dude, but we had a group of guys it was a group in of the school, yeah, because it was, I'm being real, like, it was somebody that I was super, super cool with, like, way before the end, and I ain't, we ain't, bro, we ain't even cool no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like everybody was reneging and it's like folks were saying they were gonna do this, but then they're like, nah, I'm gonna go this route, I'm gonna go that route, which is cool, because mm -hmm. you know, everybody do their own thing. But, but we, we already knew based off the prom stuff. What was oh, yeah, 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 like prom, you know prom, like that was wicked. Cause we all planned on going to the same college. You know what I'm saying? It was one, two, three. It was about five. It was six, like five or six, six of us. Six. It was like five or six of us. We all planned, this how we gonna do it. We all gonna go to prom. 
we pull it out of date. Then we all gonna get out fast for and do platform whatever college. So me and him were waiting. We wait. We are no we finna do. We just like what college y'all trying to go to? They were trying. You know what I'm saying? But that didn't go through. So what happened is me and him, he took his date to prom. I was the prom by myself. He got me some dates when I was there. Then we ended up applying to uh, community college, and we just, you know what I'm saying, we yep. did that, and that's what really got to where we got real, real, real yep. close. Because we, mm -hmm. we, we were trying to go to university, then mm -hmm. when we went to community college, we were thinking about going to a university, but... Man, we was just like... Man, man it was so much stuff going on at the time, we were just like, man, we, we, we just going to hold off, yeah, we just going to hold off, mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, and it's cool. Like, sometimes I regret it, but at the same time, man, life, mm -hmm. is, life happens, bro, like... At the same time, I feel like everything that happened happened for a for reason. For a reason. So man. I wasn't tripping on it. But like we were literally the only one that stuck together and like shoot, we my we got super, super close. Like mm -hmm. to be honest, like, bro, for years and years and years, like even to this day, bro, like, we really the only like we the only one that real deal be locked in. Mm -hmm. Like for real, for real. I mean, we don't mess with nobody like that. I mean, of course we got other friends, we cool and stuff like that, but yeah. Like, on some real tough stuff, like, bro, got our first crib together. Mm -hmm. Like, all that I'm talking about. We the only ones, like. Like you said, community college. Bro, like, on the same type of stuff, bro. Mm -hmm. When it come down to our money, when it come down to, like, I'm knowing he clean. I'm knowing he finna pay. Like, everything, bro. We ain't finna argue about nothing. We not finna, you know what I'm saying? Like, get mad at each other. All that little stuff. Like, bro, he ain't never been like that. We. Mm -hmm. Almost, we worked at almost the same jobs all the time. Like, bro, we real deal brothers for real. Like, we always around each other. Like, we stick together. Like, he made sure I'm straight. I made sure he's straight. It been like that. Like, ever since then. And, you know, on some real 100 stuff. Like, I ain't even trying to make the video too long or whatever. But that's why I always say time don't mean nothing. Because I see a lot of people I always say, yeah, like, these are my day ones. Or, like, these are the folks I grew up with. Or, these the folk I've been knowing these folks for this, this, this amount of time, and I only been knowing this person this amount of time. Now, that's cool, mm -hmm. but that don't apply to everything because, like, I had folks that I was super, super cool with for a long time, like way before me and him got cool, and vice versa with him. But my thing is, you grow, bro. You you grow, bro. And they don't, they, 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 yeah, they don't mean that you leaving your folks behind or you gonna fall out with some folks, mm -hmm. and some folks you still gonna be cool with, but. It's just certain things, like when it come down to business you get, and all that, man. You grow, like you got to realize back then when you young, you ain't have to worry about you have money to, situations. Man. You ain't have to worry about school. You ain't have to worry about cars. Yeah. And you, a lot of stuff you don't have to worry about. So the older you get, you see these yeah. people on the same level I am is this and this, that. That don't mean you you just like on yeah. stuff. Man, I never miss them again. Yeah, it just, it is, it is principle. Y'all cool, but from a distance, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, from, yeah, like I said, bro, we, we locked in again. See, like you know, like he said, YouTube, like it's a, it just a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that tied in together. Just made us you know like even closer, even closer, even closer, even closer. Like, yeah. It just what it is, man. So shit, yeah, that's that, really how we yeah, met. Really like I said, if y'all want to read and know like uh different story times, like anything y'all can think of, just let us know. You know what I'm saying? Comment it down below, and we gonna hit y'all with that jump. But I think that's it. That's it, why I think about it, though. We appreciate all the love, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate the support. Y'all been real this, showing us plenty of love. But if y'all like, like this, story time, give it a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? But is your boy and boy crazy? We, uh, yeah.